I'm very excited. I am super this excited. This is crazy. All right. Welcome back to the show. What a way to start off the new season. My first guest tonight, I cannot believe this, is no stranger to television. He has appeared on many TV shows and more movies than you can count. Please welcome one of the funniest comedians in the world. Andy Dick is here. Come on out, Andy. <laughs> I went to go open the door and it just swung open. <laughs> That's Brad Hi. doing the door for us today Hi. and the rest of the semester. Pearls. Nice. <laughs> now I know it's difficult, but we've got these two attractive girls over here and then I'm sitting here, so I'm sorry. You gotta no, look at me for a little nice. bit. It's Thank nice. you for being here. You have and no you're idea. You're the co-host. And what was your name again? Courtney. Courtney, nice. Courtney, Bradley, I'm Jamie. That's, well, I'm not gonna go around the room. You don't want to know everybody, do you? Well, no, just the people on camera. There you yes. go. Yeah, everybody else. <laughs> Thank you. For Although there really are a lot of beautiful women here. <laughs> it's Marshall, baby. That's yeah. what we're talking about. And you're the professor, I hear. Yeah, that's what they call me. But uh, <laughs> I call it temptation, Andy. Yeah. I call it temptation. Are you married? Happily married. Two kids. Then, then it is yes. temptation. Yes. <laughs> for me, I call it a good Saturday night. <laughs> Thank you for being here. I told everyone <laughs> that you're coming, and everyone is just jaw dropping. Like, really, Andy Dick, we love you. I mean, oh, we great. really, I love absolutely it, yeah. love uh -huh. you very I love much. It. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you. So, I mean, everyone knows you from all that you do, television, movies, but you're in Huntington, you're doing stand up at the Funny Bone. What do we expect from Andy Dick on stage? Okay, yeah, good. Um, well, my son actually does the stand up portion of the show, he does about 20 minutes of, of pure conventional stand-up and, and then I come on and I do I don't know I, I, I don't know what I what you would call what I do I have a, um, a guy playing guitar uh, Tim what, what is that oh nothing I'm just I'm just that music everybody. yeah I don't know I don't know it's, what that it's is so polite in, in the background it's like dinner music yeah, yeah well, now this is not this is <laughs> this, not even real this is a, see, no he's been in television before he more. knows he knows but it set. looks good. That's a that's a good looking. That's a real microphone, that but it's is. just not plugged in. Because we we've got these mics here. Wireless technology. <laughs> you guys, we're trying to do a show. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Now you're talking about your son and, and, and Tim. They're here, right? Tim is here, and and Lucas, my son, is here. Do we want to see Tim and Lucas? Yeah. Do we want to see them? Let's bring them out. Let's bring them out. They're back there, Bradley. Let's see. They're, oh, they're hanging out. There's Tim with the guitar. Courtney, Luke. you might have to sit on my lap. Oh, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> just get over and sit with you, huh? You just uh -huh. come sit over. Yeah, that's good. That's cool. Good. I'm more <laughs> your son's age, however. No, that's fine. How old are you? 20. Yeah, he's 21. Yeah, you guys are, oh, good. You can have That's fine. <laughs> I was dating a girl once. I was dating this 19-year-old girl, and uh, she was going to Loyola out in, mm -hmm. out in um, California. And Lucas and her had one night, they kind of, she cheated on me with my own son. <laughs> you know what I did to my son? <laughs> Lucas? I gave him a high five. No doubt. <laughs> high five. There you go. <laughs> you know, you're blocking my camera, Courtney. Oh, sorry. Maybe, should she sit here? Can we get another chair for Courtney? See if we can find another chair. Is there any, there's a red one over here. there. Daniel or somebody, then Jennifer's got it. Here. Yes. I'm not going to sit. <laughs> But uh, so, what I was going to say is that Lucas came up to me. Chair. Thank you very much. <laughs> Sorry, Courtney. Sorry, Courtney. Mm -hmm. There. Right here. The there you go. The code. Now I don't have go. to try to look right at Andy it. is rearranging the set, and I'm I love it. Sorry, <laughs> I love it. We've got a whole group of traveling minstrels here. Um, uh, Lucas came up to me a few years ago and said, I, I, I think I'm going to, uh, I want to do stand-up comedy. And I said, wow, so you're going to follow in your dad's footsteps? And he said, oh, hell no. <laughs> No. But however, you're sitting here now. Yeah. Oh, well, because I don't do comedy, I yeah. guess is what he means. He he does yeah. conventional jokes, right? You, you study the greats. <laughs> you know, he doesn't study me. Well, the greats? No. Do you I ever mean, study me? I hang out with you. Know? He hangs yeah. out with you, so that you can't. You he can't he do watches that. what I do to see what not to do. I think. There is a lot of singing in your in your stand-up. One of our producers was watching some YouTube yeah. clips. I wouldn't yeah. even call it stand-up. I would call it like a. Um, like a little off-Broadway show that's very autobiographical. Mm -hmm. And then this weekend, we're going to introduce some of my old characters from The Andy Dick Show. Oh, so. my goodness. Now, listen, I'm glad you talked about that because one of the funniest things that you've done is the Boogeyman DJ. Where, do you, where did right. you come up? And for those of you that don't know that, you've got to, you've got to YouTube that. Check that out. It is so funny. Where do you come up with these ideas? Well, I had like five writers on that show, and we would 
have like a think tank mm -hmm. and, and, and bounce ideas off each other. But uh, I'm not going to be doing that character because that has like, remember he had like. He had everything, the yeah, hair, the, the hair, hair. That would take a couple hours to get into that. Will we see any Daphne Aguilera? <laughs> <laughs> you, yeah, you will. You will catch a glimpse not only of Daphne Aguilera, who, if you don't know who she, you can laugh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, you like Daphne. Daphne Aguilera is, for people who don't know, is Christina Aguilera's mother's cousin's best friend's neighbor's dog walker. Uh, st she stole the name Aguilera and has been trying to, she's a self-proclaimed pop diva. <laughs> so you might catch a glimpse not only of her, but of her little, uh... Oh, man. It's a showstopper, <laughs> Courtney. It's a showstopper. And it shows up. <laughs> and then what do these people say after you portray them? I mean, like you did Marilyn Manson, right? Mm -hmm. Well, you did Mary Poppins Manson kind of, right? Marilyn like, Poppins. Marilyn yeah, I did. Poppins. I did. It was as if, as if, as if um, Manson, um, what's his name? Manson. Marilyn, <laughs> right? Uh, we got up doing. at 6 a.m. We've been doing radio. And by the way, if I had, had I known we were going to be on camera, I would have showered shape. Can we, can we swear? We just did. <laughs> it doesn't matter. We just did. <laughs> Actually, I did take care of the pooping. Yeah. But, I, but the showering and shaving. Okay. Well, you look great. I do. Look great. Thanks. Do you yeah. like Courtney? I do. Uh, you do. <laughs> I know you She's do. She's horrible. She's not She's listening. Horrible. But anyway, you go back to sleep, Courtney. <laughs> yeah. But so I did Marilyn Poppins. Yeah, it was. It was. Um, I, I keep wanting to say Charles Manson. It was Marilyn Manson, as if he was doing a Broadway show of Mary Poppins. Which, by the way, years later, now they're doing Mary Poppins on Broadway. It would, it would, so you could have got some uh, money from that copyright no. or something. No. But okay. anyhow, so it was Marilyn Poppins. And the weird thing is, is that I did it, and then um, Manson asked me to come up to his house and show the tape to him and, and, a, and a small group of people. Well, actually, the story goes south real quick. It's, it's a sad. <laughs> so we'll, so we'll leave it there, right? Yeah, let's we'll, just leave, we'll it leave it there. there. So what is it like when people actually meet you? Do they expect you to be on and funny the entire time? Because you're amazing. Let's just put oh, it that way. That's sweet. Amazing. I, oh, that's nice. But yeah, I don't, I'm not that, you know, like, when the cameras turn on, I do kind of turn it up right. a little bit. And I think that's just a natural thing that happens and maybe with everybody but right. but when the cameras are on right and that's what like, you do that that's your red job. light comes that red on light. Right you know the I, red light and i turn on a little <laughs> bit more than there it is there it is <laughs> but, you know I, I just i turn on a little bit more but um when the cameras are off sometimes i'm still up yeah you know but we had uh, actually the gentleman who watches our tape for the news station, Ed Lake. He saw you on a plane once, and oh. he just he didn't want to say anything because you know how you know you don't want to approach celebrities <clears> because you get it all the time. But after you got off the plane, he approached you and said, "Hey, listen, I know who you are. May you sign on? Can I have an autograph?" Yeah. And you're like, "Absolutely!" So oh, kind, yeah. and so generous, and he oh, just nice, yeah. thought the world of that. So oh, that's sweet. Yeah, I I am very happy to take pictures and and sign things. Oh, really? Hold what? on, one second. Picture? <laughs> Can we get a picture? Oh, don't leave me out of it. Okay. Good. <laughs> there it is. So um. <laughs> Do you miss doing television? Do you miss doing that? Especially well, I'm, I, yeah, I'm doing it right now. Yeah, I mean, well, there, like, hey, here we are. This is you're big acting time. like I got one foot in the grave. So. <laughs> the boogeyman's going to come true, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I, um, I, I'm still doing television. I just did a pilot for Comedy Central. Mm -hmm. uh, but, I, but do I miss doing sitcoms? Right, I mean, like, yeah. uh, like news radio and less than perfect and mm -hmm. like that. Yeah, I do because it's steady. It's a, it's a steady yeah. job. All right, well, we got these gentlemen sitting right here. What do you want to do for us? Well, we'd we'd like to just sit here and look pretty. No, you, no, you can't. Or we yeah. have to sing a song. Wanna, you what do you want to do? We'll do one one quick little song that really uh, describes my life. I think. Hang out with me. Some people say you might end up dead or worse, gay. But I push semi hard to get you to like me. Now I'm in your bedroom on your TV, and you can't turn me off. Or remote control that? Do I turn you on? Good luck with that. Good luck with that. Good luck with that. That's it. Thank you. Andy Jack, the first guest yeah. on the new season. Are you going to come to the show? Yes, on the new when? season. When? Thank, Thank you. you very much. Andy Dick, everybody, Lucas when? and Tim. Tonight. Thank you You're very much, tonight? guys. Right. We'll be right back with music from Sasha Colette. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> Thank you again. Thank, Thank you. you. That was fun. Thank you.